My name is Elizabeth Beaver and I work in mail order part time. Well mainly we just to make sure that um, distribution stays efficient and keep MOASH and the Smithsonian ethos sort of alive of obviously respecting the history of music and making sure stuff is still in print and particularly with MOASH from what I understand when I came to work here having all CDs that were ever in his label always available so nothing ever goes out of print. So whether it's a, a library in Japan or an elementary school in Canada or some guy down the street in Virginia who just wants a CD, we try to make sure they're all available or Amazon or iTunes, kind of keeping current but also sort of distributing to all sorts of places like schools and kind of public facilities as well. Oh, okay, I'm in a band um, called the Junior League Band, and then I also work with a florist. I'm her assistant, and I have my own record label, too. It's called, like I said, the Junior League Band, and I started the label basically just as an overhead to put out my own albums in. Um, my family has a Fiddler's Festival that's actually in this collection, and... Um, just kind of playing a bunch of bluegrass and old time music. Yeah, all sorts of them in this, you know, vault of CDs and records. In fact, next door in the archives, um, Jeff Place took me in and showed me all the old Lead Belly letters that he used to write to Mo Ash when I first got here. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Lead Belly certainly a huge influence. My dad is a big influence. He's a guitar player, plays slide guitar and sings. Um, I love Doc Watson. I listen to him here a lot. I'm listening to the new All Bell Reed CD right now. That's pretty darn good. Um, I have recorded on banjo on a Missy Elliott track actually in 2008, which was interesting. So they put a lot of effects on it, but it was kind of fun to venture into the hip hop world too. I think I started with the Union Grove, it's the 37th um, Union Grove Convention because that's my family's festival, but then I found out about a fella named Dewey Balfa, so he plays the Cajun fiddle, and there are a few albums that we have here. Um, Howard Finster, the folk artist from Georgia, he has kind of a cool album here at Folkways, it's just all sorts of weird sounds and stories that he's telling. I know him, or of him, from Georgia. More recently, I've really gotten into this one, the Old Time Fiddle album. So um, when we had to put on music in the background at the Folklife Festival, I found this to be a nice, a nice one. So actually, we're going to put Beaumont Rag, which is on the CD, have that playing at my wedding. So during like part of the, that's coming up in September. Well, you know what, you know what, that's not true. I should say, I really love the Doc Watson and Clarence Ashley. John, one of my bosses, is always making fun of me because I'm always singing the Crawdad song whenever I come in here because I see it on the shelf and I just love that song for a long time. So I think that's one of my favorites. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think I'd be the kick drum. Because whenever anybody hears the kick drum, it just want, makes you want to dance and get moving. So it always adds that extra bit of soul. <laughs>
out and fell down and he busted that sack. Oh, oh wasted the day's work. He fell down and he busted that sack, babe. Oh, busted all pieces. He fell down and he busted that sack. And the socks even crawled that back in the bag, oh, honey. Born in the mountain, 50 years ago. I've tried the hills and valleys through the rain and snow. Seen the lightning flashing. Sachi, you call that joke now. 